days. Carlos, the, well, I had the pleasure of meeting in 1994 when we, the first year of our program at Hoover High School, the, pro, the Community Connections Program, when it was at uh, Family Literacy Foundation. And this young man was a star from day one and an adorable girlfriend who is now his wife and the mother of three point five children. <laughs> And I was, I'm just so thrilled to have you both here, and I, I would love to have you share with the board about your experience in our, what was called at that time, Youth Reading Role Models, and now we call it Community Connections. Yes, I, I um, thank you, Betty, and thank you for, for having me here. Uh, I'm, I'm truly blessed to, uh, to have been a part of the, the Youth Reading Role Models within the Family Literacy Foundation back then, because that, uh, that's the way I became an educator. I honestly, uh, when I was a student at Hoover High School, my mom had taken me out of high school to work in construction the way that my other five siblings had been doing all along. So I wasn't expected to graduate, me, nevertheless to attend a university or have a profession. And uh, during my senior year, I needed to complete 50 hours of community service. And uh, there was a great program that we were told that could help us meet the hours uh, by going out to read at the elementary levels, at the local um, elementary, so be reading to children, and we received training, and um, that was the best part of, of my weeks when I would go out and read to to the children and see big smiles on their faces, and, and I was highly impacted that it, it helped me to decide that I wanted to be a teacher. That's, mm -hmm. that's one of my turning points that, that helped me make that decision, and. Uh, it helped me in many ways. I was able to connect with um, with my community and give back to them. Um, I was able to have a purpose. I come from a very dysfunctional family where there was a lot of uh, abuse, alcohol. Um, uh, we we come from a from a poor family, um, and, and again, I was not expected to even graduate high school. Um, this gave me a purpose and have an essence, having an essence to life. Uh, being connected to children and being able to, to give back to the, to the community it allowed me to explore a field that I became in love with it and uh, later became a teacher. Uh, so, so those 50 hours, I remember my wife and I, Isabel, we went over the, the 50 hours that, that we were counting or racing to, to make more, but it, it tre tremendously impacted uh, me in many ways. And uh, now I get to serve at the high school where I graduated from thanks to, to being connected to the Literacy Foundation. Wow. But you know, it's even more than that. Hoover is a place that your history can make a difference for those kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm so pleased that you're there. There's so much they need, and they've got so much unmet need that I'm hoping that you're going to be able to make a difference here. Thank you. I'm trying my best, but it is programs and people like you who make the difference, because back then, had the Family Literacy Foundation not been there at Hoover Heights in City Heights, it, it would have not made this impact. And now I look back at, at the impact that I'm making with the students that I've taught in 14 years as an educator, and now as a vice principal to serve testimony that there's hope and there is ways uh, uh, for, for people who, regardless of their, um, of their economic status, regardless of, of the community where they live in, they could be productive members of, of our community. I personally, uh, before before high school, I was at a gang, so I was looking for something to do, and, and, and had been part of this program allowed me to, to have a purpose that I was looking forward, as well as the children that I was reading to, that uh, we were both excited into, we want to go there and read. So thank you. Thank you so much.